Hey everyone, Bear Cracker Nature Films out here, and this is the South Fork of the Yale River. We had a bunch of rain, and the river has started to recede. And um, as the water recedes, it leaves behind this really great mud. And look what's in there: otter tracks. So there's a whole set of otter tracks right there. These are river otters, not sea otters. Obviously, Eel River otter. Anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. So, um, here's a really small track. I need to see if I can find some more of that. That looks like it might be a mink. But here's two otters side by side right here. And they're heading this way. And now there's a third one. There was a third one over here. So, you got one otter trail there. One trail right here in the middle. And then another trail going that way. So three otters were out here. And this has to be recent. Um, because this morning it was slightly damp and misty. So we got a little bit of, not really rain, but just that misty stuff that kind of, when it's sort of spitting rain. Um, this trail right here shows a pretty cool thing. That's the mark from the tail. So when otters move around on land, their tail, which acts sort of like a rudder when they're in the water, it kind of drags behind them sometimes if they don't uh, pick it up. And obviously these otters were wet because they exited the river to come up here on this river bar. So this animal was wet and it was walking along here. Um, actually it was using a trot, but you can see little droplets in here where the water hit the ground and made it uh, marks and that tells you the animal was wet when it made these marks. So the tail made a little drag there and it made a little drag right here as the otter mo moved along. It was still wet, there's still a bunch of water droplets falling off the trail. Um, so the three otters come together right here and over here a raccoon comes into the scene. So you've got the three otters, you got the raccoon and then over here you have that little mink that was heading along this way. I'll see if I can find some better tracks of the mink further up because it looks like the soil characteristic might change and might be a little easier to find some. We'll see. Anyway, so three otters um, side by side cruising along the river here and so right here looks like we've been joined by another otter. So I think one of them was further up and came down. So there are two here there's one here, and there's one here. So there are four trails of river otters hanging out on the river here. And the two on the side, notice how they kind of group together with this one in the middle now. So now you've got, got them cruising along together. <clears throat> Over here, the otter trail is very close to the mink trail, but not close enough to get a really decent track out of it quite yet. And there they go, heading on down the river. So notice right here, they got really close together. They were following each other. So their tracks are right next to each other. And the mink is pretty obvious right here. So I'm going to go show you that one. And I, there we go. I almost lost my ruler. So here's a mink. So these are really nice tracks here. This is all four feet. You have one here. One here on top of another one, and this one here. And I think it's bounding or loping. They usually lope um, in a two-by-two two lope. Which I'll show you up there. But um, So your mink tracks are very similar to otter tracks in appearance. They have five toes. They have an inner toe, which is toe one, which is equivalent to your thumb. If you were to put your hand next to it, toe one, two, three four, and five. So that's toe one, making this the left track. Now, that looks like a left hind to me. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that's a left hind there. And then uh, here, so compare the track here with five toes and a pad, which goes from large on this end, and then it goes to small there. So it kind of goes like in this sort of a shape. So it's large on one end, and then it narrows to the inner edge. And then you have your five toes. So your toe, one, two, three, four, and five. That's a really bad drawing, but that gives you the idea. Wide pad, 
on the outside towards narrow on that side. So let's find a really good otter track to look at that can show you those details. Uh, here's one that's pretty good. So again, otter. This is river otter, not sea otter. And here's that dropped toe. This is also a left track. Um, notice the dropped toe one, equivalent to your hand, toe one, two, three, four, and five. And so this is a left track of a river otter. So again, you have the pad. It starts out really big on one end and then goes narrow. So wide and then narrow. So it comes up, probably more like that, and then comes down like that. The inner toe is over here, two, three, four, and five, and that's what you see here. So that's a left track. Okay, so we're still following an otter. Um, right here on the left, we still have the smaller mink tracks, and over here on the right is the otter. The mink is making a turn here and heading back towards the water. Might go back in the water, might parallel it for a while. But another thing to note right here is how far the water has receded. So the water was up this high last night and it has dropped down and left this erosion mark right there that shows you how high the water level was. Another thing I haven't seen on this trail quite yet is a scat. And when otters come out onto the bank like this, they will often leave scats. They will also roll and uh, leave some scent marks. So I'm going to follow this a little way and see if I can find any of that to show you. Meanwhile, there's a really nice mink trap that I'll zoom in on. Okay, so otters are on the right, minks on the left. The bank is getting a little steeper right there. So I can't go quite that close without falling in. Now we're joined by some deer tracks going this way. Deer do come down here every night to get a drink. Um, they also can swim this river very easily. Here's some more mink tracks. Perfect set of mink tracks in what's called a 2x2 two two lope. Each set here is a front and a hind track. So front hind, front hind. This is a gate that mink use quite often. Otters can use it as well. Now it looks like the mink is going up the bank, right there. And one of the otters, at least, has gone back into the water right here. Now we're left with, it looks like two otters. So two of them have gone back. Oh, and now we have a raccoon also. There's the mink. So it looks like all the otters went back in over there. And just the uh, raccoon. So at this point, we just have the raccoon tracks. Next to the mink. Here's the mink. Here's the raccoon. Now when raccoons walk, they usually walk with a hind track, which is this one. That's the right hind, and that's the left front. Then there's a space, and then the next set of tracks will be a hind and a front, and so on. A hind front, front hind, and so on. They switch back and forth, and they're walking. And so that's a typical gait of raccoons. So when you find them, the gait will help you to tell them apart from the um, otter tracks, as will their long fingers. So take a look at the long fingers on this raccoon track. The otter had way more uh, bulbous or chubby little fingers as compared to the raccoon. The raccoon is similar in size, track-wise, to the otter, but their fingers are much longer. And usually the fingers connect to this palm pad here, and it's C-shaped. So that, that helps, and it's relatively flat. Whereas the otters, the pad is split into different lobes, and you don't see that on the, on the uh, raccoon. So I went backward on the trail, and it looks like I had otter tracks up until those sticks right there, and then the otters disappeared. The raccoons came from over here, from this side, and ended up down there by themselves. So the otter tracks went into the water, 
and disappeared from the river bar right here at these sticks. See how they're kind of turning right there? So that's where the otters went off. And then beyond the stick was just the raccoons. So that was kind of interesting following two of them together and, and uh, having them split like that. But right here you can see the raccoon and the otter next to each other. Here we go. So here's your raccoon with your long, thin fingers right next to an otter. And look at how these these toes here are really kind of fat. They're bulbous on the tips. The tips sink in a little bit more. And this part, if the pad was clear, if we had a good track, you could see that detail. But the raccoon tracks are side by side, the usual front and hind thing. There's also a kind of cool mink track right there. So all three species are indicated right here. Um, and this is the other mink set of mink tracks. So it looks like the two by two lope of the mink came through here, right here. The otter stepped right here with a right hind track. And then the raccoon pair was right there. So all of the, the creatures that we were just following are right here, are indicated. I didn't find any scat or any rolls. So they may have done that further down the river bar. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed looking at the tracks of three different creatures here along the Eel River. And hope that helps you to tell them apart a little bit. Raccoon versus river otter versus mink. Hope you enjoyed.